Greetings. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Jacobson, a board certified psychiatrist. So there is a passage in the uh, Bible that says that where Jesus Christ says, all these things that I have done, you can do and more. And he makes some kind of comment like, verily I say to you, if you have faith that you can move this mountain from here to there, you know, uh, verily it shall be done. Uh, yeah, uh, so he, he's basically saying, you know, you can, anything's possible, mind over matter, mind over body, uh, heal the sick, raise the dead, uh, turn uh, water into wine, multiply loaves of bread and fish. Uh, yeah, uh, all bets are off. Uh, so, so what's interesting to me is uh, when I look at the Bible, I look at it as sort of as it has it having a, a dual purpose. You know, so uh, one purpose is, I believe, uh, it should be, <laughs> if it's not, it should be uh, to elevate our souls, to elevate our spirit, to elevate our consciousness, uh, our humanity uh, through the golden rule treat others as you wish to be treated uh, you know uh, love thy enemies forgiveness acceptance love tolerance charity generosity all of these principles to uh, of, of kindness and generosity love you know compassion all of this stuff is what is in the is in the Bible is in all religions uh, and uh, the, the this is one purpose of, uh, of, of religion it's not it's not to send money to like rich guys who tell you God loves you. <laughs> you know, no, it's to actually practice what what they preach, and oftentimes actually don't practice themselves. So, okay, so so that's how. So the Bible has one component, and that is to uh, try to elevate uh, us to a more spiritual place of. Uh, compassion, love, forgiveness, acceptance, etc. Okay, so it's an, in that respect, it's a manual of, of our uh, spiritual uh, awareness, consciousness, evolving, uh, you know, bring us closer to uh, God, but if you don't believe in God, bring us closer to a, a universal principle of love. I think that that, uh, that can't be argued that that's, that's a good goal. Um, okay, but then there's this other part of the Bible that it's uh, one part is a manual of right living, of right mindedness and right uh, living. And then the, another part of the manual is it's actually a manual of reality manifestation. Yeah, uh, in uh, Christ is saying, uh, you know, all these things that I have done, you can do and more. He's basically trying to make the case that we are like him that we, that that we are we have the same powers and abilities and capacities as him that we are all the son of god and we all have the same ability to perform miracles to do amazing things to heal the sick and raise the dead to move mountains with our faith with our absolute 100 percent knowing uh, these things can be done. Uh, basically, this this statement that he made is basically the principle of affirmations, the principle of the law of attraction, uh, the principle of the secret. It's uh, it's that the, the the power of consciousness, the power of intention, the power of passion, the power of conviction. We have the ability to. Uh, do amazing things with our mind. That reality is very plastic. It is moldable. Uh, we can manifest. We can create. We can transmute. We can transform. And the Bible is actually a manual of, of, uh, of actualization, of reality manifestation. And he says, Christ says how to do it. He te teaches you how to pray, uh, how, how to have faith. Uh, how to move mountains. So, uh, 
So if you want to believe in the Bible, and uh, I gotta tell you, there's a lot of stuff in it that's hard to believe, but uh, the stuff that uh, that I like to believe is, is the, in my mind, the good stuff of love you one another, the golden rule, uh, faith can move mountains. Yeah. And, uh, oh, and yeah, I'll leave it at that. Okay. Take care. Peace be with you. See you next time.